Hey, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create those wonderful quote images that you can share on social media or really anywhere else, even create posters of them, include them in emails and blog posts, anywhere where you want to get a little bit of engagement, share something inspiring. So in this case, I have a quote about storytelling. We have a course on storytelling, a rebrandable one that you can use and teach and yourself and share with your customers. So uh, one of my customers actually shared an article where there are a whole bunch of storytelling quotes and she recommended that you can also find a photo of a person if you want to create an image um, on Wikipedia Commons. So uh, this is the post. It was actually in our customer group on 21 amazing quotes about storytelling. And if I head over there to that article, you'll see there are a whole bunch of quotes in there. And you can just pick one, which I'm going to do now. I did that in the finished example here, and I'm just going to walk through the steps. So the quote was, stories are memory aids, instruction manuals, and moral compasses. This is particularly relevant to us because we create a lot of courses, and um, stories are a great part of a course and actually helping explain something, and it's something that you can use to customize your own content, adding your own stories. So first I copied that quote. I took note of the name Alex Kratoski, who I had not heard of before, and I went and I looked her up in Wikipedia. So I just typed in her name, Alex Kratoski, and looked up some different things on her. Here's some information on Wikipedia. So I saw some information on here and who she is, and she is has a PhD, has a whole history of doing things on information on social networks and um, Oh, you can just read through and see things on unlimited learning. So she's obviously somebody that would be worth quoting because you want to be careful of who you quote as well. So then rather than taking this image, which is actually looks like it was taken quite a long time ago, I looked for her own website to see whether there's something there and alexkratoski.com. She also has a profile on The Guardian in the UK. So. I clicked on her image here to see if it's something that I can use, and it's a great image. And it happens to be on Flickr, which often has the rights to be able to use it, and it says some rights reserved, so I checked the rights on it first, and it does say you're free to share it and to adapt it and remix it, which is perfect for, for doing quotes. So the next thing to do is download it and there's a link on Flickr to do that. So I downloaded the photo and you can pick a size. I picked one that's going to be big enough for social media. So you just download that and then open it up. And there it is. And there are a few choices here now on how you make this into an image. I like using Canva. I'm going to show you that. You could also open it directly in a program like Snagit and add your own text and stuff there. I often do that quickly or any photo editor or there's another program called Stencil or even in this app on my computer there's a way to edit and create. But as I said I'm going to show you in Canva. So I've saved this on my computer and now I'm going to go over to Canva and add some text to it. So this is the finished one as I said on Canva. I'm going to go in and pick a size. I'm going to pick the general social media size. I have a business account here, so I actually have my, I, I have the ability to save my own templates and my logos and colors and stuff, but you can do this for free too. So I open that up with a brand new one. And then the next thing is to find a template that you like. Now that image has a picture in the middle. So I want to find a template that also has some space or a picture. Um, doesn't have to be one that's set up for quotes. So this one has a big picture in there from a Sweet 16. So the first thing here I want to do is delete the current background picture and add mine. So I can upload my own photo. I've actually done that already, but you're going to click on upload your own images, uh, find it on your computer, and then it'll show up here. So all I have to do is click on it. It'll add it there. I'm going to resize it to fill up the whole space on here. 
Um, it pushed it to the back, so I need to go over and pull it forward, actually, first thing. This one comes with a placeholder, this uh, template, so I need to delete that. I just highlighted it, press delete, and now my picture shows. I'm also just going to get rid of this little frame that was in the template since it's distracting. And I'm going to move the text down so it's not right on her face. So I highlight that box and move it down. And now I have to go back and copy that text from the quote, which I have done. So I'm going to go control C, head back over. That's my finished one and paste that into here. Obviously it is too big. So I'm going to change the size up on the right here. Let's say 48, move that up a bit more. And now I want to move her name out of here. So it shows up more. So I'm going to highlight that. Control X and I'll use the space where this other text is and copy over that. So now I have that. I actually am going to right align that so I have room for my logo too. So up here you can click on the formatting, click it over to the right. So most of this stuff is very intuitive. Now the other thing is this is not actually that legible because of the background, but you can add your own little transparent background on this so that the text shows up better. So the way you do that is go into elements. I'm going to go into shapes. You can see there's a ton of different choices. These ones with a little crown are free, but only for people with a business account. So I'm going to click on shapes and click on that plain rectangle. It actually, because I have that business account has automatically used one of my branded colors, but I'm going to change that. So I'm going to spread that out. I'm going to move it down to about the size that I want, Maybe a little bit higher. I can also move the text around. I'll show you. Um, let's change the color. Let's push this back first. So the text shows. So I go over to arrange back back. Okay. Everything's showing. Now I need to change the color colors of the upper, the upper left here. I can pick any color or I can, pick one of my set palettes, which is my lo my uh, branded ones. And that actually is pretty similar to her background. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to make it a little bit transparent so that it's not, you know, so some of the back of the photo shows. So over on the right here, there's a transparency button and I'll just make that a little bit so you can see there's an image. The other thing is this is kind of spread out this text. So I want to bring it closer together. So there's a thing called spacing. You can have letter spacing and line height. So I'll crunch that up just a little bit. Move this up a little bit more so you can play with it. This is where you could waste a lot of time, but try not to. That's the point is to do this quickly. So this is pretty good, I think. Now I just need my logo on here. So I'll go back to the uploads. And I do have my logos in a separate section. You might have to upload your own if you have, uh, if you have just the free account. And let's see the one with the white background. I have different versions of my logo so that they show up on light backgrounds or dark backgrounds. Here's one that's meant for darker backgrounds. And let's see how this looks. I'll have to move it away from where there's any of that teal color. So I'm going to put it right at the bottom where it shows. And if I was promoting a particular product at this point, I'd put that URL in as well. And there we have it. That is all set and uh, make sure you name it something. I'll just leave the quote in there now and it is saved. And now all I have to do is download it. So I'm going to click on the download button and you can have a variety of choices, JPEG, PDF, print, animated even, which I haven't actually tried. It says it's experimental. I'm going to just do the PNG and download it. It's, you saw there was an option for transparent background too. So depending on what you create, you could play with that. Now it's down in my bar and it's ready for me to share. I'm going to save it over in a special folder. I keep on my computer that I started with just for social media posts and quotes that I have everything in one place. And then that's ready. I can go into Facebook and upload it and share it, which I'm going to share it with my customer group in a minute, along with this video when it's done. 
and uh, I'll just show you a couple other options here I mentioned for creating those images. You can go into something like getstencil.com and they have quotes existing already that you with ideas for sharing. They have photos that you could pull from, but obviously I was showing you where you could use the photo of the actual person who the quote's from, so long as it's one you can share. Um, and you can upload your own photos and then add them and, uh, and put, you know, play with that and your text and all that stuff. But Canva is still my preferred. And as I mentioned also, I had said that you could open it with, uh, with Snagit, which is my other favorite thing. So let me see if I can open that. Okay, so here was the photo. I just opened the one that I downloaded and I can open that with the Snagit editor. I'll bring that back over where you can see it. And in here, you have the option to resize the image and add text to it. So you could pick a text style and just draw it in and put in your quote. That was actually the name because that's what I copied last, but you could put the quote in. You can play with the fonts in here as well. It just doesn't have the templates, but you could set up your own template. So this is also a very easy way. It doesn't have quite as many features as Canva, but you can, you know, tech, the Snagit I use all the time for video capture as well. And that's it. Please do give that a try. And if you're a customer and aren't already a member of our Facebook customer group, join up, just request and let me know who you are. And let me know if you would like any tutorials on anything else. Take care.